Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, today it's about telling Bitwig that multiple small little nodes close together are actually one node. Keep watching. So first I show you the problem. So imagine you make a, some kind of ambient tune, you have some kind of drone sound here, you put it into Bitwig into a sampler. And then you maybe decide to use a loop here because it want you want to loop in this sample endlessly or in infinite and we maybe also use here some fade in fade out fade outs and then you create a clip in the clip launcher for instance or maybe also in the arranger doesn't matter you have this short note here and then you hit play or maybe and c3 You can see a tree triggers basically here. every time we hit the start or we loop through the clip and every time we hit zero here or the first beat again or we come back to the, the first note we tree triggers the sampler that's not what we want what you usually do is maybe you make the the clip a bit longer here with scale it up to 200 percent and then again and again or make just you know make this clip longer and longer um, but the problem persists every time you hit back to the start, you re-trigger the sampler. And that's maybe not what you want. So my solution for this was basically to tell Bitwig when there's no gap between the end and the start of a note, or if you have two notes close together and there's no gap between the notes, um, please recognize it at, as one note. And you can do this with the note grid pretty easily. So use a node grid. There it is. And you get the gate signal here with the yellow line. We take the oscilloscope here. You can see how it looks like. As you can see here, it's a re-trigger happening here. That's basically the gap between the nodes. So what we do is we compare just the signal, the gate signal, with the OR, and we compare it with the signal just <clears throat> one millisecond, one millisecond uh, earlier. So it takes either the signal before, before the gap happens or after the gap happens. And what this means is basically everything or every gap that's that's bigger as one millisecond is recognized as a new node and everything below is basically one node. So you can use the signal here as a gate signal, hit play. You can see there's no re-trigger. So with this trick or with this node grid type of thing you can persist nodes over a great amount of time. Um, this also works if you use your multiple nodes in there. You say this is just one node. And you can re-trigger by just making the gap bigger than one millisecond. Then you, it, it re-triggers again. The only problem I saw is with multiple nodes when you play like chords. And you do it like this, right? And then you go here into voices mode and say like three voices. And every time you have a new node, we treat we trigger basically a new voice with a new ID and the grid basically never gets the same node um, again for the same voice instance. So um, that's kind of a problem. So I think this doesn't work. Yeah. So now I have the same problem as before. Um, what I found out it's best for that is using this in mono mode and putting then the grid into a node FX selector here and using then free voice or free Robin and exac exactly how many voices you have in this instance here, two voices. 
then it works. But as soon as you start to have more voices, three or so, then the first voice that triggers and the second voice is then the third voice and the third voice is then the fir uh, first voice. So it round robins basically through the voices and you never get the same voice twice in the same instance of the note grid. And this doesn't work as you can see. But if you have exactly the same number of voices here as you have for uh, the layers, then it works. So just as a as a tip for how you persist longer uh, pad sounds, if you do ambient and if you want to use the the clip launcher for ambient and you have this problem that the tree triggers the samples all the time. I think this is a pretty simple solution. So if you have something like this here, then you can use um, inside the sampler here the retrigger mode. If you have it in mono, you can say never retrigger. Um, so this only works when you overlap basically the notes here. But even then, it retriggers at the start of the clip. Just to give you just an insight, because I see already people commenting that they can use here the retrigger option. Um, so this retrigger only works in mono mode and it also only works for overlapping notes. So as soon as I start here putting notes closer together, I just retrigger, even though retrigger is on never. So it's not the same as using the note grid. So there's a difference there. Um, also, if you use the note grid here, like, like I showed you earlier, um, I have the same. You can also change the pitch of the note, of course, while you are pers persisting the, the key or while you are persisting the gate signal. You can see we change the pitch even though we play um, the same sample continuously. Even when you change the pitch, you can continuously uh, hold the gate. Thanks for watching the video. And I also noticed that a lot of you are actually not subscribed to the channel. So please hit the subscribe button. It's pretty important for YouTube or for me actually for the channel. So thanks for that. Uh, like the video and I'll see you in the next one.